Hi, today we have Dr. Kanan with us. Those of you who didn't see her in one of our previous videos, she is an anesthetist by profession and a mother of a 14 year old. She is a trained classical dancer, but she took up running only after 2010. She has run multiple marathons and is also run a world major marathon. She today is going to talk something about a very important topic, the final countdown to a marathon. Preparations that need to be done on the last 10 to 15 days of a marathon. I'm in here. Uh, today I'm here to give you a brief insight on key things to do during tapering period for a marathon. There are two, th two key things which have to be kept in mind for during this period. One is to retain your freshness and two is to regain your uh, sharpness. So, uh, uh, regain your sharpness, I think, uh, regain your sharpness to get benefits from all your training period. Now, how there are, one has to be, now this taper period depends upon two things. One is the race distance, as in if one is tapering for shorter distance and like 10 kilometer, two to three days are enough for the taper period. But at the same time, if you are uh, tapering for a full marathon, then two to three weeks should be a, an ideal time to taper for this. And second point during this taper period is, it also depends upon the uh, intensity and uh, uh, in, your intensity and duration of your training during this during your training period. So taper period should be according to the intensity and duration you have put in for your training period. Now one has to be a little watchful during this taper period, uh, as in uh, you have to have this three or few things in 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 shape or in in in, in place. Like you have to. Uh, catch up on your sleep adequately, try and not eat something new, especially the street food or something. Don't try and put on some uh, some intense new workout during this period and uh, try and remain stress-free during this period. Uh, second important thing is you have to kind of, you know, plan and, and visit or reiki the race thing. So try and visit the race course if possible. Uh, try and visualize yourself running the same and think keep keep your mindset positive for the race period and try and figure out what you're going to wear eat etc as in before the day day before the race during uh, on the day of the race that will make your uh, stress level much much lower and do, during this period when you have uh, everything planned out now the second the, 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 the most important part comes is to set the goals for the race thing so start, try and set few goals for this few i mean realistic as well as the challenging goals for this for your yourself during this period so you you can have the performance goal as well as the process goal as in performance goal as in you can have some performance goal for your some some time target or pace for the race and and to achieve this performance you should have this process goal as in how are you going to fuel during the race uh, uh, and how, how are you going to strategize your race as in run, walk strategy or you're going to run during this period or you're going to, if there is any terrain or if there is any uphill, then how are you going to plan your race during that period? And if you've lost the time during that period, how are you going to catch up on that time, especially during the downhill period? So these are the few things which you have to keep in mind when you are tapering yourself for the race. And the most important thing is you try and enjoy your race and the race day. Thank you.